This is very LA to eat your burger with a fork. We're just do it. Just cut it up. Thank you. Tony Hale, he's an Emmy Award winning actor. You might know him from shows like Veep or Arrested Development. We're gonna hang out and have a good talk because he's more than just an actor, he's actually a really good dude. What's up, man? Ooh, I feel like a Kardashian walking in with all these cameras. How are you? Where would you like me to sit? Uh, if you want to sit on this side, that'd be cool. Yeah. Does this ever get comfortable, like when these cameras are like. This is around? so comfortable for me. Really? Yeah, my wife said I had a good hair day today, so I'm pumped. Good hair day? Um, I don't have those. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah. So, like, literally today, we're just going to eat a meal and hang out. Great. And are they ready for me to order the entire menu? Are you hungry? I'm starving. Hello. Hey, what's up, Devin? How's it going? This is my first time, first Devin. First time, Red Robin. I know you're like a, a Hollywood guy, so I, I don't know if you do actually eat meat. I'm, no, I'm a character actor, okay. so I can eat whatever I want. So I'm going to do the turkey burger lettuce wrap. Okay. I would do the turkey burger with avocado also. I'm going to stick with the bun. Okay. I'm wild. Thanks, man. So anyway, so really the essence of kind of this show is yeah. like sitting down with people that are using their platform for good. It doesn't mean you're perfect. It doesn't no. mean we get it right. No cell phones. It's going to be sure. crazy. It's going to be hard. Get, I know, just no kidding. Um, and just kind of talk. Like people just aren't doing enough talking. I think I realize in this business, the big, the one thing you always have to fight is it's never enough. Yeah. And you get people at massive levels of success, and they're and they're constantly realizing it's never enough, and that's a very terrifying place. So if you don't find purpose to the journey and seeing people for who they are rather than just a commodity, then it's just BS. And you're not you're not going to find any joy. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, I think I al I already struggle with not being present, and you know, I think so many times it's very easy to be anxious. Yeah. But to work at like, I want to try to live my life and just try to find those, that joy. Because there yeah. is joy. There's joy in seeing somebody for who they are. There's joy in uh, being encouraging. And I think, especially in my business, it can get very me-focused. Yeah. But we miss, when you get your eyes off yourself, the just rush you get. This is so powerful. If you're somebody who follows through and speaks words that are hopefully life-giving, yeah. I think hopefully that stands out. Yeah. Once you've kind of made it where you were on a show, like who's someone that, that was so nice? What if, what if I was like, don't know one? <laughs> yeah, that'd no, be funny. Um, there's been several, several people who have been examples for me. One, Julie Lou Dreyfus mm -hmm. on Veep. When you're number one on the call sheet, which means you're a star of the show, mm -hmm. you set the tone for the show. Right. And I've heard experiences where someone has maybe been arrogant or, and people are kind of walking in eggshells. <clears throat> Julia's just the opposite. Yeah. She's a team player. She's kind. It's like a team. She yeah. knows the power of an ensemble. It's yeah. like we're all in this together. Henry Winkler on Arrested really? Development. Yeah. I remember meeting Henry and he's a guy who had been in the business for a very long time, obviously, even before Happy Days. And when you're in the business for that long, yeah. you can go many directions. Yeah. You know, and he's a guy who's been in it that long, just kind, yeah. gracious, giving, yeah. listening to people. And I and I met him, and I was just like, oh, it's possible. You know, it's possible yeah. that you can fight against this kind of fear-based arrogance or like always trying to protect yourself and always think about yourself. He really yeah. that was a great example for me. Is there a specific moment where you? done something because of your platform or your celebrity or whatever where you've had a really positive impact on someone. I love to talk to college students and yeah. I love to talk to acting students just because these people do not get told it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. These people, it's very much about the craft, but they don't get like how do you deal with rejection? How do you deal with the uncertainty? How do you deal with not knowing where your next job is going to come from? I love just speaking into their lives and being like, hey, listen, your value is the same here as it is when you have yeah. it. Just like see them hear that. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and just like knowing, I wish I had someone like that. Yeah. Oh, I think our food's coming. Wow, this is crazy. Wow, Thanks, look at this business. Yeah, and oh, the bottomless restaurant. Yeah. Literally, oh, you yes. can resell them all day long. This is very all to eat your burger with a fork. Just cut it up. Just Don't cut judge it. me. Cut it up. Don't judge me. Yeah. I'm cutting up my burger. But there's one big thing I talk about is the whole idea of fame. Mm -hmm. And there's such, especially with our culture, with all the media, it's, it's obsessed with fame. Mm -hmm. And just to kind of turn it for what it really is, it's like, I think fame is based on we all want to be known. Right. We all want to be known. And people look at fame as like, oh, that's the ultimate being known. 
when in actuality it's the opposite. Because someone who's a massive celebrity, they're isolated, they don't trust people who want to get near to them because they don't trust their motives, their motives. And you look at someone like that, who everybody thinks, oh my God, so many people know them. They don't, it's the opposite because someone who works at wherever, they can freely walk into a room, they don't question many times, many times people's motivation for getting to know them. If people care about them, they're like, yeah, these people must care about me because they're kind. That person is more known than the biggest celebrity. Guys, this is like getting intense. What's up, what's up intense conversation up in Red Robin? Tell me, what are you working on right now? Uh, we just finished Arrested. Is the next season of Arrested gonna have the... Stair car. The stair car. Oh yeah. The stair car is oh, yeah. That's like so I had, I had a really sad situation because I was doing a podcast and somebody was at, this is, I've, I've seen each Arrested episode probably once or twice. And someone was asking me my favorite Arrested ex joke. Mm. In addition to the Blow Man group of Tobias being in the Blue Man group because he mm. thinks it's a support group for depressed men. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> but there was another joke which I thought was funny when, when my hand is eaten off by a seal mm -hmm. and I'm at the hospital and the doctor says something like he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. And they go, oh, and he's going he's gonna to be okay but he lost an arm or something. And I thought it was very funny. Well, as I was doing the podcast, there was an audience and the person in the audience goes, no, no, no. It's gonna, he's gonna be all right. And I was like, huh? And the whole joke was that I'm gonna be all right. Like I'm just gonna have a right arm and miss my left hand. Just got that joke like 12 years after shooting it. <laughs> it's like, there's so much stuff in this show that I just miss because it's so yeah. dense. And that's, that's why people great. really love it because they can find those kind of, oh. Yeah. oh. Round two. Potatoes, potatoes. I'm pretty excited about the bottomless fries because I love, I love an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah. Would you say rest of development was your big break? Mm -hmm. For someone watching that has these ambitions of, you know, yeah, whatever sure. big dreams they have, like, sure. what's the best advice you can tell them and tell them about your journey? Everything I wanted in life was a sitcom. I really wanted a sitcom when I was young and living in New York. And I gave it a lot of weight. Mm. And then when I got it, it didn't satisfy me the way I thought it was going to satisfy, and it really scared me. Because I got my dream, and very, you know, rarely people kind of get their dream, and I got my dream, and it didn't satisfy the way I thought it was. And it scared me to death, but it really woke me up. I was never practicing being present or contentment on the journey. And if you're not practicing contentment in where you are, you're not going to be content when you get that dream. And I really woke up to that. Especially when my daughter was born, after arrested, because one thing kids force you to do is be present because you have to keep them alive. I get dreams. I guess you should have ambition. But really look around you and really, as hard as it is, practice being where you are. Yeah. Whatever happens is just kind of extra. Yeah. It's not so much weight. Yeah. Touch on that a little, little bit more. You said practice. Like, it, it, it takes effort. Like, it does it, take It takes effort. constant work. I think in our society, and I do this too, we're always expecting something in return, like a reciprocal right. thing. I think getting into the habit that Initially being kind, you're not always going to get the result you think you're going to get. Right. But it really, once you get into that practice of just like being encouraging, you know, seeing people, being, saying kind words, when it becomes more a part of your, in your system, and not doing it in a selfish way, but it really, it affects your outlook, it affects how you see people, you don't go to negativity and so the much. the thoughts in your head, the thoughts in your head. anxiety kind of diminish. Exactly. Of course you want to do it for others, but it's so beneficial to your own spirit. A big thing is kind of finding opportunities to get your eyes off yourself. Because yeah. I'm guilty of it, I mean I'm an actor, I'm, a, I can, I'm, a, I'm selling myself. Right. And I have to force myself <clears throat> to get my eyes off myself, and also thinking, Globally, one thing I've been working with is the International Justice Mission. They what do. is it? They're an organization that fights to end human trafficking, slavery, and violence against the poor across the world. They're just angels. <laughs> There's 40 million people involved in slavery. Children half my daughter's age were being sold. So, and it's like, wow, it's, that's not even in my framework. Like right. what? And what they do is they go and they, uh, not only they save these people, they're advocates for them, but they restore them and they spend time, because it's trauma. I mean, it's absolute trauma. And they work with local governments to help them be aware of what's happening in their community and to fight for that and to equip them. Um, but it's also they're bringing awareness to this is still very much a problem. It's so heavy, dude, it's so dark, but they're getting in there and they're doing something about it. Come on, there's so much going on in the world that needs love. That being said, like, 
kids or people watching this are like, I want to make a difference, what would you, what would your advice be? And to see, them? I love that question because it's easy to go into a state of paralysis mm -hmm. where I'm like, what the hell do I do? But I don't. You can't negate the power of your voice. Mm -hmm. This is what I love about what you guys are doing is the simplicity of it. It's amazing what just that simple message of saying, "Dude, be nice." Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, just be nice, man. There's such power in that because it is a choice. Yeah. There. There. What? That's just ridiculous. happened. Right. I just Damn. internally shut down. That is massive. There's no pressure to eat this whole thing. What is something that gives you hope? I think seeing very simple truths celebrated, mm -hmm. that's exciting for me because I, it's amazing how our society gets so complicated that they forget those simple yeah. truths. Yeah, and I think that's why it's so important for us, frankly. We're giving the world through media and a lot of social media really yeah, a yeah. glimpse of like the 1% of negative things happening. And 99% yeah. of the things that are happening are positive interactions are good in some, in some respects. We're not giving them any <clears throat> publicity in front yeah, of them. Yeah, frankly, yeah. that's just because Oftentimes they're not salacious enough, so that's sure. why we're so inspired to like create stuff that is meaningful. We, we've been around for a few years now. We're kind of really honing in on who we are, what we do. It used to be inspire people to treat others better. Yeah. And our new kind of mission overall is inspire people to treat themselves and mm. others better. Mm. So it's a little bit more about what are you doing to like look out for yourself. All the all, all the self talk, the pot. You know, yeah. How is that impacting you? Like. Yeah. And um, it will impact you. I really appreciate your time. I love talking about this yeah. stuff. Thanks. It's a, it's a gift to me to be able to talk about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, thank you. Because it's truth. Yeah, it's not truth. my not that everything I'm saying yeah. is true, but it's the simple truth. Yeah, we got a couple things for you. So, <gasps> so one, I can't tell you how excited this is to me. We switched everything to made in LA. It's made in a fair, ethical yeah, yeah, yeah. factory. Love that. Um, so these are some of our new designs, which are pretty rad. If there's so one of these great. that kind of speaks to you that you like. It's simple and cool. Love. Are you a large or extra large? I'm an extra large guy. I don't have a hipster body. Yeah. I don't have a hipster body, guys. Just this two. Hey, thanks, man. Should I say goodbye? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me.